Hello YouTubers, um, Jiggy Dave here. Today I'm going to do another series called The Lost Media Series. And today I'll be looking at 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 film, old films from like the 90s and the 2000s that had a lot of deleted scenes that were cut out at the at the of the final film due to being either being too dark or brutal or inappropriate. Um, this is actually one of them, and that today I'm looking at um, at the 1998 sequel by Big and the CD, which is a sequel to the 1995 um, masterpiece, Babe, which is adapted to the original book, the 1983 book, Sheep Peak, so let's begin. Um, according to, according to George Miller, or George Miller, if that's what his name is, is that the film originally had a lot more of a darker, was supposed to be a lot more dark and brutal, and originally was supposed to have a PG-13 rating, um, but a lot of these scenes were, were either cut out due to pacing issues or being way too dark or inappropriate or disturbing for younger viewers, so let's begin. So the first scene we have is an extended shot of the aftermath of the well scene. It shows Farmer Hoggett and Babe in the well and Farmer Hoggett basically screaming in agony after the incident from the pump. And, uh, and Esme Hoggett would, was actually going to find both Arthur and Babe in the well. And in some early drafts of the film, uh... Farmer Hoggett was originally going to be killed off of this scene. Unfortunately, the producers didn't think that was a good idea. So I'm glad they didn't put that in the final film. Or during productions of the film. Uh, there was also... According to the actor James Comrill, there was actually, like, a, a... Another extended shot where he's actually, like, drowning to death. Where his character's actually drowning to death. Uh, which he recently stated it uh, this year. Uh, there was also... I thought there was also a shot where the pump actually lay on Farmer Hoggett's head. Unfortunately, this was already reshot to the forklift carrier crate. Instead, as the test viewers complained about the scene being too brutal and disturbing and believing that he was dead. So yeah, I can see why they took that scene out. Um, also in some scripts for the film, there's actually shows Ferdinand the Duck chasing after both Babe and Esme. Who are driving off in the truck, uh, heading to the airport. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not sure if this scene actually even exists, was never filmed or not, but this scene actually does exist, only exists in scripts and not and in the novelization for the film. Um, if it was filmed, it actually would be fairly funny because according to the script, Fernand was actually going oxygen, oxygen multiple times trying to chase after him and trying to begin to fly. So it'd been pretty cool seeing what uh, that would have been like. And it would have been nice to see the old Morris commercial LC3 truck having more screen time in the film as well. Um, there's also another a lot of extended shots of the airport with Ferdinand. Basically he's trying to take off, trying to chase after the airplane and nearly gets run home by an A1 Ferding, unfortunately. Uh, this was never shown was never filmed, I don't believe, due to complication issues. Um, I can see why, but it does appear in the book, um, in the book version of the film and the script, so yeah, it does. I don't think that scene was ever filmed, as I said before, it was never filmed. Um, another scene, deleted scene, shows uh, Esme getting a strip search and showing her naked, and when she goes in for a strip search for drug search, and unfortunately, unfortunately, this was this was cut out because the test viewers complained about it. It was way too inappropriate for younger viewers. Um, yeah, I can see why they did that. Um, there was also, but also, there was also, there was also like a. Also, there was there was actually a one brief scene showing the lady putting the inspect the health inspecting lady putting on a rubber glove during the theatre release version of the film, well, <laughs> duh. I never saw that scene of her putting on a rubber glove, because, well, and I was two years old when that movie came out, and I do not remember seeing 
that the immigration lady putting on a rubber glove during the fear release of that film. And this is coming from someone who was only two years old when that film came out, a toddler. So yeah, I don't remember that, seeing that at all. Um, there was also, um, there was also some other extended, uh, like shortly after, so yeah, also, it was also an extended shot of the, the street fight scene, uh, shortly after Esme gets her purse stolen by someone, Esme blindly fights to get her purse back with the buckle of glue on her head, and she accidentally attacks a cop. And then she has like a bunch of policemen tackling her. Unfortunately, this scene uh, was cut out due to, due to being way too brutal for obvious reasons and due to assault against women, women's, women's equals right. So yeah, I can see why they did that. But it would have, but it doesn't make sense. But it would have been interesting to see if if they added that scene, kept that scene in, would have given us the reason why she got arrested in the first place. Not for just c calling out the term pig. So I wish they kept that in the final film, but who knows. Um, it was also um, during the, the circus performance act, it was actually where Babe actually get, um, instead of Babe tripping Fugly foam up. Fugly foam's one of Fugly foam's suspenders gets stuck in between the cannon. He pulls on it, trying to get the suspender free. Unfortunately, he loses his balance, trips over Babe, and causes a fire hazard. And Babe accidentally gets kicked in the fire hazard. But this was reshot again with Babe tripping Fugly up. I can see why they changed that because history was complaining that would have been too, too messed up and just conceded as animal abuse. Um, yeah. And, um, I can see why. Um, a very well-known scene from the film is showing the monkey, uh, the chimpanzees making a, a stairs out of the junk food pile of cannons. And, uh, Babe climbs up them. Unfortunately, the cannons lose, um, these barrels all lose their balance and Babe falls out. Uh, falls out and falls into the river. Um, Fugly Flowing the Clown was originally supposed to have more screen time in the film, where he's actually showing smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol while having dinner. And he also gets a call from the hospital about the damage, the damage to his circus performance. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that, my ears are a bit clogged. And, um, and Fully's having a huge argument with the chimpanzees and Bay coming back in saying he wants his reward. Um, unfortunately, the scene was cut out, uh, due to being way too disturbing for younger viewers. Uh, but, um, however, this scene, uh, does appear in the TV trailer, for the trailers for the film and TV spots for the film. So, yeah, would have been interesting, it would have given us the exclamation why Foggy Foam was sent to hospital. Because all we know that he was basically in a coma or something. I don't know, and also the fish also was supposed to have a speaking role in that scene as well, like basically Foggy from accidentally throws the TV remote in his fishbowl and goes, hey, I'm swimming here, which that dialogue only appears in the trailer film and never appears in the final film, so yeah, it would have been interesting to see how that turned out. Um, and shortly after, ba and finally after the chimpanzees finally have cooled off, both Babe and the chimpanzees cooled off. Babe goes back to his overturn room. There's also a shot that takes place of that shot with uh, Esme in her prison cell pleading for her innocence. And, uh, and basically she gets brutally attacked. Gets brutally attacked by a snoring cellmate. Um, which happened. That scene happens off screen. Unfortunately, uh, the prison cell scene was cut out. As just viewers complain, it was too dark and disturbing. And disturbing. Um, actually, when I think about that scene, I think I remember seeing a picture of of, of Esme in a prison cell in the journal novelization for the film. Um, but uh, that was like a really long time ago when I saw that book. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't know, but it would have been interesting. The seeing a prison of <laughs> Mrs. Hoggett in a prison cell would have been interesting. Um, another shot, 
Another shot shows, shortly after the Metropolitan Gun Club scene, uh, Ferdinand the Duck ends up getting ends up in Chinatown, and he squawks in the fear of seeing ducks being hanged up at a Peking duck restaurant, and gets caught by an and gets spotted by a Chinese chef who angrily chases after him. Uh, Ferdinand was able to make it away in time. Unfortunately, this scene was also cut out as it was conceived as way too racist and offensive and offensive like yeah and it would offend the Chinese culture but actually someone told me that they actually saw that scene whether if it was real whether if, if that scene exists or not but if anyone has seen the scene of Ferdinand in Chinatown at the Peking Duck Show please let me know and send me a link below in the comment below I would love to see it I think it would have been really funny so yeah and, uh, yeah, but it actually does appear in the novelization for the film. So, yeah, it would have been cool what it, how funny that would have been. Uh, yeah, um, also, so, yeah, that would have been really cool to see. Um, also, there was a, del also, at the hospital, we see the landlady's uncle pass away. She holds his hand as he passed away. Unfortunately, this... Scene was cut. It was considered as way too depressing, uh, too depressing. But it's which she says in the aftermath that she was one night spending one night with her uncle on his deathbed. So yeah, uh, I can see why she would be upset, considering that she, he was the only family she really had. Let, the landlady really had left, and. Uh, um, also, there was an extended shot of the pit bull actually drumming death, and Bob was supposed to have a larger role in that scene, saying, he says to his younger brother, saying, let him go, he deserved it, which that was seen as cut out, it was conceived as too hurtful, and should have never been in the film. Uh, there was also a lot of extended shot of the animal control, catching a lot of the animals and really throwing them in cages in the van. Um... Yeah, and there was also where one guy tries to grab hold of Babe and Ferdinand, and then the pit bull brutally attacks him and then puts a muzzle on him. Unfortunately, that scene was cut was seen as way too violent for younger viewers. But it wouldn't. I would have loved to see what that because it would have gave the pit bull more a way of protecting Babe and Ferdinand from the from the gang, from the pest control, um, and would have given us the reason why he had a muzzle on his face. So yeah, I can see why. Uh, there was all, been pretty cool. Uh, there was also, so yeah. Um, there was another deleted shot that takes place shortly before the Chaos Fury, is that there was a chasing in this, <laughs> this film as well, where Esme and the landlady are on the car bike getting chased by the biker thugs, um, which chasing them through the highway and then Esme and the landlady are able to loot able to lose them on the way. Fortunately the scene was cut out uh, to avoid a PG thirteen rating. Um, I think that scene was likely stated it was supposed to be a reference to the Mad Max Fury series, but I think it would have been cool seeing a chase scene. Seeing a chase scene in that film it would have been pretty cool how that would have worked out. <laughs> Um, and it would have gave both Esme and the landlady more screen time together. Um, there was also, also there was an, an extended shot shortly after the chef, and the way to grab Esme, grab all the clown trick suspenders and slingshot her back that the two waiters at the front look in the window of the kitchen. As they're looking for the, win <laughs> the kitchen, <laughs> Esme basically bangs them on the door and they pass out as she runs by. I don't know about what happened to that scene, why that scene got cut out. It would have been so funny, having a bit of a cartoon slapstick in the face sort of thing. They can see why they didn't want to add that in. Uh, there was also another scene shortly before Esme um, harness herself, ties herself up with the clown trick suspenders, is that I guess at pulls out uh, the pink cloth out of the back of the clown pocket, or the clown trousers, and glitter comes out. 
Uh, unfortunately, that I don't even know if that was actually even in the scene, if that was ever filmed or not. But it would have given them, it would have given us a reason why in the the bungee scene shot why the the pink cloth was actually was somehow was absent. Well, if that really did happen. Um, and another well-known scene, another well-known scene is that shortly after Esme knocks the waiter off the ladder, is that the waiter from the kitchen and the and the chef who originally had babe grab Esme by her clown shoes, grab Esme by her clown shoes and stretch them out until these trick stockings come out and they swing her across the room. Uh, babe sees Esme in trouble, quickly comes to a ref, rescue headbutts them. And knocking them over the ground, and they tear both the shoes and the stockings off all together. Um, so yeah, and shortly after that happens, um, it happens Esme then swings backwards and forwards towards the waiter on the ladder. The waiter on the ladder grabs hold of her. Esme is able to fight him off, and he falls on the ground and pulling off. And at the progress, he pulls off the do not pull tag in the progress. Unfortunately, this whole scene was cut out at the last minute, as was conceived as way too violent and too inappropriate for younger viewers, uh, which doesn't make sense. It would have given us the reason why uh, she was barefoot in another scene and why the do not pull tag was absent. It would have given us the reason why she inflated in the first place. So yeah, and uh, however, this scene does actually appear in a lot of TV spots and trailers for the film. It also does appear in both the, the standard and junior novelizations for the film as well. And it does appear in the the scripts as well. So why didn't they get that scene in? It would have gave us so much reasons why she inflated. It's also... The trick stocking scene is a very famous scene in my opinion. It, it, it's been seen in a lot of fan-made video edits, been added in and stuff. It would have been interesting. Um, I do remember actually seeing a promo image with, with Mrs. Hoggett basically with the trick stocking thing stretched out and how she's hanging on for a dear life as she's getting swinged shot. I was questioning, like, like, what the hell? That was, I remember seeing that in the final film. Like, promo images and stuff, so yeah, it would have been pretty cool seeing that. And I think that's the most scene I would love to see the most. It seems very interesting and it would have gave Bay more to do in the filming more to do in the scene than rather just doing nothing. As I said before, it would have given us the reason why Esme inflated in to begin with. Um, another extended shot, like shortly after the hotel becomes a nightclub, um, the, the next door neighbor finds out that her husband is dead, that, that Esme and the landlady end up killing her husband in revenge for having the animals taken away from her, but that went. But unfortunately, that scene was cut out. It was conceived as too dark and disturbing for the younger viewers. However, the aftermath shows her screaming out "Roger, Roger!" before it fades to black and just has the landlady in the countryside with her animals. So yeah. So yeah, there you go. That's my whole talk of the director's cut version of Bay Pig in the City. Um, this movie, like Thomas and the Magic Railroad, has had had, had a lot of plot holes and why things were cut out and stuff. But if they did go with the director's cut version of the film for the theater release, um, I think it probably would have failed anyway. But there's actually like an online petition petition called Release Baping in the City Director's Cut. Although, I think that's probably very unlikely that's going to happen if they're ever going to release it or not. It's not, but but considering that we have seen a lot of director cut film, or a lot of director cuts, cuts of films being released, like we already have like the director's cut version of the Titanic, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, uh, and Dark City, and even now we've got the director's cut version of Thomas and the Magic Railroad. So it wouldn't surprise me if we get the director's cut version of Baby in the City some in the near future, maybe for next year, because next year does mark uh, the 25th anniversary of the film. But 
It may not happen, as that it was a re- it was a really long time ago that film came out. Uh, yes, the film could have done better. Could have done better. Could have could have been better. But it's fine the way it is. But who knows what happens in the future? Maybe we will get the director's cut version of this film somewhere in the near future. Later now, this is Juki Dave signing off. Bye.